You saw the thumbnail, so prepare to be surprised and maybe a little grossed out. Let's get started. Okay, so I got my nutrient agar plates here. I got 10 of them here. And what we're gonna do for this experiment is we're gonna do something pretty simple. First, what we're gonna do is we're going to take one of these plates and we're gonna put some of my water, my tap water on them, just as a control to make sure I don't have any bacteria in the water itself. We're gonna take another one of those plates and I'm gonna to touch my fingers to them without washing my hands. Another plate, I'm going to be washing my hands and then I'm gonna go directly from the sink shake my hands off, and I'm gonna to touch the agar plate there without touching any other paper towels or towels to eliminate any bacteria that might be on those. And then what I'm gonna do is dry my hands with a regular towel. Uh, this is a hand towel that hasn't been washed in, I don't know how long, it hasn't been that long, but still, it's been there for more than a day at least, and it's been used a few times. So we're gonna dry my hands on that towel, then I'm gonna to touch uh, another plate, then I'm gonna dry my hands on a paper towel, and I'm gonna to touch another plate. And we're gonna see if we pick up any bacteria just off of those things that are supposed to be clean. All right, so here is my stack of Petri dishes. Uh, these are gonna go in the incubator. But before we do that, we're gonna add one more and I've got my hands pretty dirtied up again. I've touched a lot of stuff since I've washed my hands. Uh, this is your regular 60% alcohol mix stuff. And I'm gonna use this on my hands and then my hands are gonna go directly from this after I've cleaned them with it. And then I'm gonna touch it directly without touching anything else. All right, I got one more trick up my sleeve here. I've got two Petri dishes left here and I've got these disinfecting wipes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dirty my hands up again. I'm not gonna explain how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna come back in a little while after they're dirtied up. And I'm gonna use these on my hands. Now normally you wouldn't use these on your hands. These are for wiping surfaces, but it's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna touch the plates again. And then this other plate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swab some surfaces after I've used these wipes on those surfaces and see if it actually does anything. The reason why I'm doing this is because in a previous video, I said that nothing is 100% effective where I was using an ozone generator to see the effectiveness of that. So we're gonna do this in this video and see what happens.
Okay, I got all my plates placed in my incubation chamber here, and we're gonna come back in a week and see what happens. All right, it's only been two days, and I've already taken a peek in this incubation chamber, and there's already stuff happening. So let's take a closer look at this. So the first dish we're gonna look at is the water only. This is where I just dribbled some water out of the faucet directly onto the dish and closed it up. And you can see here, there is definitely some bacteria in the water. Not a lot compared to the other Petri dishes, but still it's there. And next up is the Petri dish where I just touched my fingers to it, where I did not wash my hands. Check that out, there is a, there is a lot growing on there. See, hands not washed. Next up we have the Petri dish where I washed my hands and then I just air dried them and then touched the Petri dish. I did not touch anything else, I didn't dry my hands with a towel. I just went simply from the sink, shook them off, touched the Petri dish. Now this is not a 20 second hand wash like recommended by the CDC. This is just a regular maybe 5 to 10 second which is what most people do anyways. But uh, you can see there is still a lot of bacteria on my hands even after I wash them. The next petri dish here is the ones where I dried my hands on the hand towel. And you can see here there is plenty of bacteria still. This petri dish is from when I dried my hands with paper towels. This dish here is from when I washed my hands for 20 seconds and you can clearly see from the video that I washed them pretty well. Still a lot of bacteria on my hands still even after washing them for 20 seconds. This dish here is after using the hand sanitizer. Still plenty of bacteria there. This dish is from wiping my hands with the Clorox wipes. There is quite a bit less bacteria on this one, which is kind of surprising. And last but not least, this is after swapping the surfaces after I use the Clorox wipe on those surfaces. So you can see here, there's still plenty of bacteria on those surfaces. And just so you can see them side by side, this is where I washed my hands for less than 20 seconds, and this is where I washed my hands for 20 seconds. And then here is a side by side look of using hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes. So it's pretty close to the same, I would say. So this video was definitely a fun little experiment to do, and it was certainly insightful. I hope I didn't gross anybody out too much uh, or scare anybody. That was not the intent. Uh, this video is actually a follow-up video to a previous video I did, which was with an ozone generator and seeing the effectiveness of that with the uh, sanitizing things. Um, so if you're interested in anything you saw in this video, such as a heat mat for the incubation chamber that I had, or the inline thermostat, or the petri dishes, if you want to do this experiment yourself at home, uh, there will be links below in the description. They will be affiliate links. I do get a commission if you use those links, but it doesn't increase the price at all. So I hope you learned something from this video. I certainly did, and I will be doing probably more experiments like this in the future. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.